Hey guys, this is Azad, and today I'm going to implement a stack using a single queue. So, uh, to implement a stack, we need the two functionalities of the stack that is uh, push and pop. So, the time in traditional stack, the time compressor to push and pop both is order of one. But uh, if you're gonna use queue to implement a stack, then the time compressor to push will be order of one. Um, but the uh, but the complexity of popping will be order of n. So what is the logic? Uh, see, you can implement a stack using multiple queues, two queues, right? Generally, the solutions are provided for multiple queues, but here I'm going to use a single queue only, and uh, it's a pretty easy solution, right? So, so, so uh, we have this queue. Let's say I have inserted three elements in, into this queue, right? And uh, the count variable denotes the number of elements into this queue. Right, so think of it like an array. Let's say you have array and you have inserted one, then two, and then three over here. Now, if you want to pop from this stack, the popped item should be three. But if you directly pop from uh, uh, this DQ from this queue, then uh, the element DQ will be one. So what, what I'm going to do, I will, uh, I have the number uh, count of number of elements. So I'll use a for loop and uh, uh, i will do uh, i will uh, use a for loop until count minus one time and i will just uh, pop the front element and again insert it into this queue for example count value is three so i will use a loop for two times and i will take this element and i will insert it into this queue again it's gonna uh, come from behind so it will it will be inserted here i will take this element again it's going to come from behind and it will be inserted here so for count minus one time i i have done this and i just i can now simply uh, dq this element so so this element will be uh, removed from this queue so in this way we're gonna implement this stack using a single queue so in next video i'll try to use uh, um, implement a stack using two queues but um, so okay so now i'm going to start do the coding part so i will be using uh, xcode and uh, okay let's start i am not going to include stack okay so i will include q uh, and i'm using queue from C++ standard template library I'm not going to implement this queue with the help of array so okay let's create a count variable which will denote the number of elements into this queue and let's choice CS will user CS is the choice variable which user will choose to perform some functions onto this stack okay so let's give user some choices um, push okay push into stack second choice pop from stack third choice um, print the st print the stack and the fourth choice will be to exit the program okay i'll create a do while loop while cs is not equal to 4 it means this loop will continue until user does not press 4 so again i will ask the user enter the choice user will enter the choice and depending upon the choice will have the switch case okay switch ch case 1 so what happens in case 1 okay, switch switch now case 1 uh, to push into this stack so we can directly um, push into this queue so the time complexity push will be order of n so i'm gonna uh, create data i will ask user enter the item to push so user will enter the item i will push the item into 
q dot push actually q dot push item so i need to create a q here q and q okay so actually uh, whenever we have to push the item we don't like we are not uh, seeing the q overflow or underflow conditions because we are using stl standard template library okay so i will put break here now for case 2 um case 2 is popping from q so so this is the condition which we need to check if uh, q dot empty and when we are pushing into this queue we need to increment this count variable okay if q dot empty or it means that count is equal to zero we'll simply put that uh, q is empty okay else i have a uh, count variable so i'm going to use a for loop for count minus one time uh, for int i equals to zero i is less than count minus one i plus plus i will take the variable using q dot front front variable into k i will pop this variable again i am going to push this variable okay and uh, after doing all this we need to uh, return the popped item so i will use c out uh, um, pop item is this q dot front okay and then i'll use q dot pop, pop that item right this looks good now for case 3 case 3 case 3 to print the print the stack so we'll see if uh, q dot uh, empty will simply print that uh, not q is empty i need to put here stack is empty actually because we are implementing stack okay stack is empty okay else else uh, okay so similar to this um, i can actually uh, for uh, if i use a for loop for count for uh, zero to count then uh, i'll simply be and print the element at that position i can simply so the order of element will not be changed if i use this for loop for count times okay so because i need to uh, print the stack so what i i will use okay the stack is empty so i will use a for loop for enter uh, i equals to zero i is less than count i plus plus c out of q dot front okay and uh, i will push uh, q dot uh, push q dot front then q dot pop So in this way the order of elements will not change and i will be able to uh, see the whole array i'll put a break condition here now for case 4 case 4 is nothing but uh, the user want to exit the program so i'll simply use the return 0 for for default I will print please enter a valid choice okay and I'll put break here okay this looks good so I'll try to run this program and uh, let's see if you're making any mistakes
okay <laughs> again the same mistake i will create item over here so okay i'm incrementing the count but uh, i forgot to decrement the count so that is one mistake so let's try to run this program okay okay the program is running so let's uh, enter a choice let's say i want to enter one enter the choice push into stack so it should say enter the item the push i want to push 10 again i will push 20 again i will push 30 okay let's print the stack the choice is 10 20 30 and pop from stack so i will put two popped items 30 then 20 then 10 then stack is empty if i push 4 or let's say 6 it says presented a valid choice if i put 4 program will end so this program is running perfectly so thank you for watching this video don't forget to hit the like button and see you guys later